Right, good morning everybody and welcome back to Follow Porcupine. Of course, we have returned and the adventure is about to continue. Whoa, I haven't slept that well in ages. Hmm, I guess my body needed it. No crazy dreams, no thunderstorms, just sleep. Hmm, somebody's at the door. Let us check it out. So this is where we uh, left off in the previous episode. We just woke up and we're just about to see who's at the door. Hey, Finlo! <laughs> Happy Hibernation Festival, buddy! Oh, thank you! Same to you! Oh man, I'm already super excited! And I'm way behind my preparations too! Things have been really intense this year! What did you have to do? What do you think? I'm responsible for all exquisite decorations, of course! You love it! They're so beautiful! I was just in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd pick you up! There's something else I want to show you! Then we can head to the town square together! Sounds good! Yay! I can't wait. All right, hold up. Let's just greet this guy as well. Well, good morning, my friends. Good mood. The best. Thanks to you guys. I have a nice full belly. And I'm thankful for this day. Are you going to the uh, hibernation festival later? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, thank you. Hmm, not in the mood? Mood's got nothing to do with it. I just don't like crowds. Hmm, okay. Well, no pressure. I'll just look forward to seeing you if you change your mind. Well, maybe I sleep on it again. <laughs> All right, buddy. And again, before I'm gonna go to the right side and keep on uh, doing some preparations here, now I do want to go down below for a second and check on the fisherman. Uh, you guys know that I've been doing this in every single day because we apparently have a very, very awesome friend down here. Uh, he's been giving us some uh, really awesome advice as well. Hey, Frog. Hi, Finley. How are things, buddy? Getting by. You? Well, getting by as well. So she brought me a little earlier with the day's mail. My sister isn't going so well. Hmm, I I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, she's having financial troubles, so she asked if she could move in with me for a while. Unfortunately, I live in a one-bedroom mobile over in uh, Sandalwood. Even more unfortunately, she's the most annoying person I know. <laughs> I see. Have you applied to her yet? Yeah, she's on the train right now. She'll be here in three hours. Oh, so you are taking her in after all? I want to be the frogs who help her sister out when she's in need. Even if we do find. If two twigs stick together, they'll have a better chance of holding out against the current. A true stream of consciousness, though. Not bad, young Finley. <laughs> right. Uh, not bad at all, and not wrong either. And if things get too stressful, I can't just move all the things over here. To the riverside. Oh man, I love it. Alright, well, I guess uh, the lesson we got out of this one... Always help your brother out. Or sister, in this case. No matter how much we, uh, I guess, hate each other. That's what uh, brothers are for, right? Alright, uh, let's keep her going. Let us see what we gotta do here. Uh, apparently something changed with Pina. She used to have, like, a necklace, right? Around her neck. Uh, and I do not see that anymore. Am I supposed to help Pina out with, uh... Some decorations around. Hey, look, it's Kid Doctor. Good thing you took off that uh, hideous hat. It looked ridiculous. <laughs> I think I saw it in our apartment as we left, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, is everything okay? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just nervous. What's going on? Uh, uh, Chloe's competing in these two contests today. That's a good thing, right? I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for her. Yeah, yeah, a good thing. Uh, cross your fingers, take the paper off the roll. Check the caps on the pens, lock the register, turn off the lights. <laughs> I think I thought of everything. Is everything okay? Yeah, I think so. Today is an important day for Chloe. She's going to be defending her title in this two contests. Everything needs to be perfect. Mm. I'm looking forward to uh, testing her recipe. See you later. Um, can I move? Hello? Uh Oh, there we go. <laughs> for some reason, we're stuck there for a while. Hey, ta-da! <laughs> what do you think? I made this just for you today. Oh, wow, you really didn't clean up that paint, huh? <laughs> of course I didn't. Hmm, look how beautiful it is. What do you think of your masterpiece? My masterpiece? You're the one who painted it. <laughs> yeah, but your contribution was essential to the whole. That makes it a collaborative work of art. You could even call it performance art. Hmm. Does that mean that I get a share of the uh, proceeds? 
well, we'll negotiate the details another time. I mean, it's not like I can just sell the artwork to a collector. <laughs> because you're emotionally attached to it. Because my store is physically attached to it. <laughs> right. Anyways, uh, that's what I wanted to show you. But while you are here, why don't you just come into my store with me for a minute? I've got another surprise for you inside. It's gonna be a brand new plant. Cleanup party! Cleanup party? Is this a second surprise? Yep. Just look at my store. I was up all night putting the decorations together. And I was thinking, since you're such a nice person, maybe you could help me tidy things up? <laughs> that way, we'll get to the hibernation festival in no time. Ah, uh, alright. Yay! Your job, my super kind friend, is going to be the clean the form. Let's go! <laughs> Are you kidding me, game? Alright, let me clean up the floor then. How's it looking? Well, I'm done. Superly duperly, fast as lightning, you know. Ready to head out then? Yep, I was ready the moment I woke up. Yay, to the town square, to the hibernation festival. Let's go, buddy, then. <laughs> that was funny. He had me coming up here so we can fix up the place. Wait, nighttime already arrived? Seriously? Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to enjoy the hibernation festival. And after that, I'm going to have to head on back to the hospital because I do have a night shift today. And you guys know that during the night shift, uh, strange things are actually happening. I'm super curious to see what this hibernation festival is going to be all about, though, because it's probably going to be a very special one. Are we going to have fireworks and everything, I wonder? I hope you are. Hey, listen to the crowd. There's a lot of people here. Love it. Worth and comfort to you. Is that what they say? Not yet, but I'm trying to make it a thing. The new greeting for the Hibernation Festival. Pretty festival, huh? I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's keep it going. Oh, look at these two. Let me celebrate in peace, Quirt. <laughs> yeah, can't you see we're celebrating here? That's right, celebrating. <laughs> this looks awesome. Hey, did you know that today in the Hibernation Festival? Isn't that great? I really want to make a hazelnut candle today. A really big one. Have you ever made a hazelnut candle before? Uh, no, but I really need one. I think I need to bring one to the uh, old lady. Mr. Hayrick, I wouldn't expect to see you here, but of course. I never miss a hibernation festival. It's a time when the whole community comes together and the economy is stimulated. A fantastic day. There's also the small matter of my participation in the stew contest, of course. Hmm, you like to cook? Cooking relaxes, cooking satisfies, cooking has purpose, meaning. Which is to say, that's great. I'll be cheering for you too, of course, even though me is my favorite. <laughs> Naturally, team loyalty is essential. And in the end, it's the steel that wins, not the support. I look forward to an invigorating competition. Good luck. And a joyful hibernation festival to you too. You too? Awesome. Ooh, what about this guy? Tomorrow we'll work hard, today we celebrate. <laughs> hey, hello, Grey Flower. Great, what? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Who was that? That was so weird. Hey, Carl, how's it going? Hey, never been better. Did you know that we've got cocoa with a brand here? Ha, uh, how about everything else? Well, I feel better than ever. I finally have time to think about the important things in life, like hot cocoa with brandy. <laughs> I even slept in late today. Man, I needed that. I'm not leaving here until all the souls run out of the food, run out of food, and, and all the kegs are dried. Did you know that Mia is taking part of the suit contest today? Really? Hmm, no kidding. No kidding. Our Mia is going to be a champion suit maker this year. Old Colbert might as well pack up her crew, her gruel, and head some right now. Or more like head home right now. This calls for another drink. I need to line my stomach with alcohol before I start carving down Mrs. Uh, Mia's suits after all. Hmm. Isn't it usually the other way around? <laughs> what do I know? I'm not a doctor. <laughs> True. You're way more competent than uh, any doctor I know. I wish I didn't have the uh, night shift tonight. Whoa there. Don't get frowny, Fino Face. My Fino fan of Finley friends. You and me, we're celebrating together. <laughs> I'd be great. Hey, have you seen Juliana's around? Uh, not yet, no. Well, he wanted to serve this extra foamy crap here today. I'm gonna go with the uh, old scoundrel. I'm getting thirsty. 
See you later, Radiator. <laughs> hey, Giuliano. Ah, my nose is itching. And here he goes. All right, what about Mia? Hey, how are you feeling? Are you ready? Uh, Mia? Anyone home? Two tablespoons of truffle powder, or was it 12? Uh, Finley, was it 2 or 12? You have to tell me. I don't remember anymore. I feel sick. Uh, calm down, Mia. Take a deep breath. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay now? I, I think so. How many spoons of truffle powder go in the stew? None. There's no truffle in the stew at all. That's better. You can do this, Mia. You've done a great job with everything so far. And I've been looking forward to sampling your stew at, uh, all evening. You're going to win. I just know it. You really think so? Well, you bet. It's going to be amazing. And I can help you in any way. Just let me know. I'll be right here. Watch you cook. Everyone else is uh, off the stage. Everyone else is off the stage. Yes, we've got this. All right, thank you. I feel a little bit already. Maybe I'll have another swig of my drink first. Whatever works for you. Just relax for one more moment. I'll be right back. All right, uh, I better go over to recipe just for one more time. Uh, next up, let me see if I can buy whatever I need to buy here. Hello! I hope you enjoyed the festivities. Can I interest you in our homemade fall tree tea uh, towels? We still have a few constants here. Or how about a hazelnut uh, candle? I'm afraid I still need a moment to get things ready. Why don't you just come back later, okay? I think I'll be ready after this two contests. Oh man. Okay, so I cannot get the uh, candle just yet by the looks of it. Today, there is no history but that which we write ourselves. I can already feel my dancing feet starting to edge. Tonight is going to be a big one. You youngsters, just wait and see. Woohoo! I can feel it! <laughs> it's like I'm 20 again. Let's dance ourselves hungry. Aw oh, man, I'm loving this. Look at that. We have a stage and everything. We got people cooking, we got people in line. Hey, Doc! Fancy, bug me Fancy bumping into you here? It's good to see you, my friends. How are you? Lungs is doing well? Couldn't be better. I've got this cool spray thing now. I just keep it in my pocket all the time. And when I'm out of breath, I take a quick breath from it. It's awesome. <laughs> Yay! Awesome inhalers! <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. But lay off the cigarettes, okay? I know it's hard on special occasions, but your lungs will thank you. Sure thing, Doc. I really don't want to end up back in hospital. It's the internet working better now, at least? <laughs> Afraid not. <laughs> Alright, buddy. What about this guy? There you are. I was just warming up my voice to cheer Chloe on. Want a sneak preview? Uh, yeah, maybe. Okay, here he comes. Go, Chloe, go! Everyone else still is oh. <laughs> Everyone else still is whoa? Uh, I may need to work on my grammar. Okay, I'm ready for everyone in the contest. So, you're rooting for Chloe too? Great! I'm selling actual goods from our store today. Pens, greeting cards, wrapping paper. But if I'm honest, my thoughts uh, are elsewhere. All I can think about is Chloe winning that trophy again. Alright buddy, well I guess, uh, I think we are ready to start up the festivities here. And hopefully after that I'm going to be able to get myself a candle here for the old lady. So in the meantime, let's chat with my, my buddy and let's start this off. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for you, Mia. Thank you. Fellow Porcupinians, may I have your attention for a moment? It's starting, look at that. A happy hibernation festival to all of you. <clears throat> Today is a special day for me, as I have the honor of officially opening the hibernation festivities for the ninth time in a row. You think this would be a cakewalk for me by now, but I'm still nervous. Nervous with joy. Seeing all of you, celebrating with you. This is always the highlight of my year. I look into your faces and think back to all the wonderful years we had in this town. I've seen many of you grow up. New faces have joined us. Old ones have left. And me. I'm still here. <laughs> For that, I am truly grateful. I don't want to ramble on too long. After all, we're all here to party, right? So, I just have one more thing to ask of you. As you enjoy delicious drinks today, 
and treat yourself on a healthy bowl of hot stew, or gossip and laugh with your loved ones. Spare thought for those who cannot be with us today, those who have passed away over the, over the course of the last year, and also for those who are at work right now or simply somewhere else. Think of them. When you see them again, tell them how much fun you had today. Make them turn green with envy. Alright, let's get on with it. I, Wittelvon Wittelstein, can feel the hairs on the back of my neck standing up in anticipation. As I hereby declare this year's Hibernation Festival... Open! <laughs> Here's to all of you. Cheers, you old biddy. <laughs> Cheers. Here's to us. Turn on the water. Wait, did they actually fix the uh, fountain? They did. There we go. Well, it's not that epic, but I guess it works. <laughs> Just like every year, hot water is passed through the pipes of the town fountain to keep us warm and serve as a base for the soups. Good luck to everyone taking part. And bon appetit to all our soup samplers. Here's to us. Oh man, look at this place. This is so cool. Love it. Can I now buy all the uh, can I now buy the candles I want to see? Good news. The hazelnut candles are just firming up. They should be fresh and ready to go right after the concert is before. Okay, okay. So I guess we cannot, we cannot buy just yet. Look at our Mia. Go Mia. Give Hendrik a good roasting. And serves to you. He's been on my blacklist ever since he took the fried corn on the cob of the menu. Show him how it's done. Uh, wait, is Mia gonna be this way? Look at Dill bopping away. I hope I'm, I hope I'm, I hope I'm like that when I grow up. But a tear came to my eye when she was speaking just now. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoy the festival. Too bad he can't stay to the end, but have yourself a great time at all the same. See you around, Finley. All right, hold up. Can I chat with Mia? You're doing great, Mia. Can I taste it? Finley? <laughs> What's wrong? Finley? Uh, yes? The pickle weeds. What's a pickle weed? My secret ingredient. The spice that makes my tomatoes too special. And I forgot to get it. I don't have any Finley. What am I going to do? I can't leave my stew. Everything else is already simmering. And time's running out too. Oh, don't worry. I, um, uh, I'll get some for you. Uh, what do you get something like that? At the grocery store, but that closed hours ago. Oh, any other ideas? Yeah, you see Roma Henrik over there at the front? Uh, yeah? Pickleweed is his main ingredient. I don't know why, but it must make his stew terrible bitter. But knowing him, I'm sure he won't give any of it to, uh, to anyone. Okay, I'm gonna go ask him. You just keep doing what you're doing, okay? Just a few more minutes, your contestants. Then it's time to drop your spoons. Oh no, did you hear that? Don't worry, I'll be right back. Really? Thank you. Wait, so who am I supposed to chat with? Is it this guy? Mr. Herrick, may I disturb you for a moment? You know I'm always happy to listen to my team's concerns, but I still need a moment or two for my stew. And as you've already heard, time is running out. Yeah, I know, I just need some of your pickle weeds. What? For my ingredients? Yeah, you just spare some? You'd be doing me a huge favor. No, sorry, out of a question. You're a very likable young man, and I would like to help you, truly, I would. But my ingredients have been measured out precisely according to my recipe. If I change even the slightest thing, it will affect the taste. I'm sorry. Mm. Okay, thanks anyway. Don't mention it. So what am I gonna do then? Uh, Mr. Harry can't spare any of the ingredients. I'm sorry. That's alright. It's my fault for forgetting it, after all. Thanks for trying, though. Yeah, I don't think I can find the ingredients to bring to her, unfortunately. Serge, I didn't know you had a salt here, too. Of course I do. I can't deprive the town of my street food. All this reminds me of my day of a young traveling uh, chef. I fired up the grills on so many streets in so many cities. But don't be fooled. This is just a warm-up. Today, I do find myself in the orchestra pit of flavors allowing myself to be entranced by the bubbling of the hot pots. Today, there will be no long symphony of the several mo uh, movements. On this day, it all comes down to a single chart. The perfect notes. 
and I will call this recipe Serge's famous pepper stew. <laughs> Sounds delicious. You are blessed, don't you see? You are the one of the lucky few who may get the chance to sample a bowl today. This is one hibernation festival you never forget. I mean, I really wish I could bring my friend what she needs. Hey, my young colleague! Huh? I've been thinking. You are part of St. Ursula's Hospital. Just like myself and our other young colleague back there, we have to stick together. So with that in mind, I've decided to give you some of my uh, pickle weeds. Really? That's very kind of you. But of course, I can't just simply give my ingredients away. So I would like to ask you for a favor. Okay, okay. What do I need to do? I would like a bottle of caraway liquor from the wine stands. Okay, no problem. I just head over there and buy one for you. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. This caraway liquor is very special. The owner has produced only one bottle for it. Oh, and I'm guessing it's insanely expensive then? Expensive? No, not at all. In fact, the wine seller is looking to give it away. Oh, yeah, it's a prize of sorts for the first person to say the secret phrase to her. And the secret phrase is... It's sort of a, like a password. The solution is to a riddle. Do you have any idea what the uh, password is? No, but talk to the person at the wine stand. I'm sure you'll find some answers there. Okay, I'll get to it. Excellent. Even though it would be nicer if you just help us for free. <laughs> Alright, let us see if I can figure this out because apparently I gotta get something from this fella. I'm interested in wanting the bottle of uh, caraway liquor. Hmm, really now? Then tell me. The red trees have left the forest. The red trees? Oh, you don't know the answer? Apparently not. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, there are a few other people around who are also playing the game. Maybe one of them can give you the answer? Hmm. How do I find the one that knows the answer? Well, that's a part of the puzzle. But I'm going to give you a little something to help you out. Now, pay attention. The blue shells glitter prettily in the morning sun. That's it? Yep, that's it. Take a look around, talk to people, and good luck. Thanks! The good shells lay prickly in the morning sun. That's quite confusing to be honest. Uh, and I do have six minutes apparently. Rolf, put yourself together! Happy hibernation on your old crunch! <laughs> uh, what the heck. Happy hibernation, Festival Squared. You too, Pina. Yeah, you too. Have a good one. Just don't bother us, okay? Okay, so these fellas are not gonna help us up. Hazelnut! Hazelnut! The blue shells glitter prettily in the morning sun. What are you talking about, Finley? Mm, never mind. Who's gonna help me with this information? The blue shells glitter prettily in the morning sun. Ah, uh, I know the answer to that. Hold on. Uh, they hide when the yellow sun grows too hot. No idea what it's supposed to mean, though. Hmm, I'll figure it out. Good luck. All right, hold up. Maybe this is the answer that I needed. And you returned. So, do you have the answer? Sorry, I still don't know what the answer is. What? Well, what do you mean? Didn't I get myself the answer? Siri needs to stop wanting to chat with me. Every time I say sorry, she keeps on telling me something. They hide when the yellow sun grows too hot. That doesn't make any sense to him. Uh, I know the answer. The green train is almost here. Thank you. Alright, hold up. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be another answer that I'm going to have to work with. So let's see. Ooh, that sounds familiar. It travels on the purple sea. Okay, so we got it travels on the purple sea. Next up. Let me chat with... Uh, her, maybe? The answer to that is... The red trees have left the forest. I hope that helps you. It does. Thank you, Sushi. And you got it. And you have the answer. Hold on. Are you playing the game too? Uh, why, of course. There's no rule against it after all. So, do you have the answer? I um yes. 
Now they grow on the golden beach. Incredible! That's the right answer. You won! Alright, and the record time too. Really? Yay! Congratulations. Here's your prize, a bottle of caraway liquor. Thank you very much. I've got to dash though. Have a good evening. You too, my friends. Don't drop the bottle. <laughs> Hopefully I won't because I gotta bring this one. Right over here. Hey, Mr. Heinrich, I have the liquor. Very good, my young colleague. You can always rely on Team St. Ursula. Can I have the pickle weed now? Of course you can. You held up your end of the bargain and I shall do mine. Here's your prize, a bottle of the finest pickle weeds. Thank you. Sorry, but I gotta run now. All right, next up, we gotta bring that too. Mia. I got the ingredients. What? Really? That's awesome. You're the best sous chef in the world. We can talk more later, okay? Time is running out. There we go. Hopefully, she's not gonna be able to make the uh, proper stew. So, my lovelies, your time is up. The cookie period is now officially over. Set your wooden spoons on one side and prepare for the tasting. Again, folks, official announcers get first dibs, of course. Look at this. That was fantastic. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. I don't think I'll ever need to eat again. <laughs> but before we get to the award ceremony, there's something I'd like to get off my chest. There are a lot of different people living out here in Porcupine. Some have only been here for a short time, others have spent their whole lives here. And that's good, and the way things should be. Be kind to each other, be grateful, be understanding. If you do that, Porcupine will remain the beautiful place it is. Maybe these are just melancholy thoughts of an old, old woman. Or maybe I already have a nut punch too. But I love all of you. So before the food comes and sets in, let's uh, let's get to the award ceremony. To refresh your memory, hear all the participants and the creations. We got Chloe took on a wild journey through the world of porcini mushrooms. Ron presented you with a spicy pickle weed pot. Isaac whipped up some handmade alphabet soup for our bookworms. And wonderful handwriting by the way. <laughs> and our lovely Mia, a first time contestant today, gave us a tomato soup that I'm sure has bowled more than a few of you over. And our last candidate is someone we only normally see when we're sick. Serge, head chef of the cafeteria at St. At St. Ursula's. His entry this year was a fiery hot stew. Okay, that's everyone. Now hold on to your spoons, it's about to get serious. The winner of this year's Porcupine Stew Contest is... Mia, with her fruity spicy tomato stew. Wait, what? Really? Congratulations! Yes! Congratulations! What a great stew! And that grows for all of you as well. Congratulations on an amazing creation. And congratulations to everyone who got their hands on a bowl. You are really lucky to get to taste such a wonderful stew. And now, let's just get to the celebrations. You said it! Man, that was awesome! And of course, I love it that Mia also won. Now, before I'm gonna have a chat with Mia, let me see if I can buy the candles. Whoa, finally done! I couldn't concentrate with all the excitement of the contest in the uh, background. Anyway, can I get you something now? Yes, I was wondering if I could get a hazelnut candle. One hazelnut candle coming right up. What do I owe you? Nothing. Wait, nothing? Yeah, that's right. Everyone gets a one hazelnut candle for free. It's if you want it, of course. Ah, uh, that's very nice of you. But doesn't it mean you end up losing money on the candles? Yes, but making hazelnut candles is my favorite hobby. So I really don't mind. It means I need a little wall to make them dull. But at least they always smell fantastic. Enjoy your candle. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Happy Hibernation Festival! Awesome, we got the candle for the old lady for Irma. Mia, you are awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Did you like this too? Even better than that. I haven't even tasted it yet. <laughs> Wait, what? Why? Because the whole pot just got gobbled up straight right away. I didn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hey, it's no big deal. I couldn't see how delicious it was from the looks of everyone's eyes. Celebrate, Mia. You've earned it. Thank you. I feel a little bit awkward, actually. Huh? Why? I don't know. Anyway, she won, and I'm super, super happy for her. Um, unfortunately, she didn't won. 
So I think she's a little bit sad about it. Let me see if I can chat with them. Uh, the answer is no, we cannot. All right, well, in that case, I think we are ready to go to the hospital. Uh, it is my night shift, so I have to go work. So that being said, let me head on out. Oh, Mia, is everything all right? Yeah, everything's great. I just want to give you something. Really, is there still some of your stew left? No, 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 uh, that was gone in a flash. Uh, you've been such a tremendous help to me, and I'm so grateful. You're always so helpful. It's amazing, really. What, what do you mean? What I'm saying is that I couldn't have done it without you. Which is why I wanted to have my winner's trophy. Wait, what? Really? But you're the one who won it. Yeah, but it was as much as your victory as it was mine. Really now. Besides, I wouldn't even know where to put it in my apartment. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mia. I feel very honored. But how about we share it, okay? It can be one of those trophies that moves from one place to the other. I'll take it in and invite you for dinner sometime. So I can show you my finest cooking skills. Then you can take it home with you, and we can cook again at your place. We can take turns with the trophy and the cooking. <laughs> Alright, that sounds awesome. Let's take turns. Oh man, happy hibernation festival, Finley. And to you too. Celebrate, you deserve it. But now, I need to get going. Yeah, see you in the morning. Good night. I love it. We met a friend, a really awesome friend. And with that, it's time to go to work. I'm super happy that we have the um candle though for Irma. But as I keep on saying, I really, really hope Irma is not going to be dead or anything. Oh, I think winter is coming. Is it snowing? It is snowing. It's snowing. Yep, winter has definitely come. Hey, Porcupine. All of you. Happy Hibernation Festival. Man, this is so cool. This is such a heartwarming game. Really enjoying this. Really enjoying this game so far. And of course, it's time to work. Hopefully, things are not going to go too bad in here. Alright, let me drink a little bit of coffee. And, uh... Not in the mood for Hibernation Festival? Sure I am. But someone has to keep this place running, you know. I'll be down in a minute, though. Then, we'll get the real party started. All that nonsense beforehand, with the seals and everything. I can't stand it anyway. Boring. <laughs> I heard you can win a bottle of caraway liquor at the wine stand though. I've got to get my hands on that. I've heard it's delicious. And there's only one bottle of it. Yeah, I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. Wait, what? Has someone cleaned the bottle already? Well... Roma Henrik has the bottle. Ah, uh, that grease ball. <laughs> How dare ye? The world just isn't a fair place. He won't even appreciate a drink of that quality. When I get my hands on him... <laughs> ah, now after a shift. Dr. Krakowski is waiting. We're on the night shift together tonight. Alright, awesome. Let's keep it going. So, of course, uh, Dr. Krakowski is going to be on the job. Let me just take the elevator while at it. And uh, let us try to meet with Dr. Kukowski because she's going to have to give me the schedule for the day. Hey, good evening, Finley. Happy Hibernation Festival, Dr. Kukowski. Yes. Uh, hope you have a good time. Uh, yes, I... Okay, it's just the two of us today. Holidays are all well and good, but someone has to keep the lights on here. Wait, that's true. So, how are things going? Uh, as they should. People actually always feel a little better on days like this. Some are homesick, others are just happy to have some peace of mind. Still, from a psychological point of view, the Hibernation Festival actually seems to help them. I will take care of our uh, dear Irma today. Please, handle your duties. You find me in the uh, break room when you're done. Alright, see you soon. So, let us see what we got. Oh, we got, we got a message as well. I still can't believe I won. I'm still shaking. That was amazing. That was amazing. Thanks, Finley. Hope you're feeling good well again. Glad you're coming back from work today. Actually, those are uh, old messages. Let me just grab the uh, schedule. There we go. So today we have... Oh, we don't have the old lady. Uh, but I think I also want to go visit the old lady because I want to give her the... Um, the light though. But it doesn't like it can go in there. So let me go 304. Uh, let me give this one an injection. I would have really loved to go to the Hibernation Festival today. 
yeah, I'm sure you would. I'm sorry it didn't work out. It's okay. I've been having my own little hibernation festival right here. I just had a coffee with cream and hazelnuts. It was a highlight of my day. You have an inflammation of the uh, penile pelvis. Are you in pain? Mm, yeah, but I'm trying not to let it uh, get to me. Alright, but don't make things too uncomfortable for yourself, okay? We can always get you some painkillers if you want. For now, I'm going to give you some uh, medication to help you bring the swelling down. Alright, hold up. We gotta give him an injection, and I think I'm gonna go with it. Oh my god. What is with the shakes? Jeez, dude. Alright, that should work. And of course we gotta be. I never get to get an A on uh, the injections here. Please tell us if the pain gets any worse, okay? Or if you have any problems in urinating. You shouldn't really be drinking coffee this late in the day, but you might find that coffee helps a little. Anyway, I wish you a wonderful hibernation festival and a sound night's sleep. Thank you. I'm definitely wide awake right now, uh, I've got to admit. Alright, next up we gotta go to P31 and P33. Uh, the old lady is of course not here. So next up, there's going to be P31 over here. We got to listen to some uh, lungs. Oh, what's happening? Good evening, Mrs. Van Gollen. I... It is important not to get rattled. After every inhalation comes an exhalation. Everything that is closed will one day be open again and vice versa. May I interrupt for a moment? Oh. Uh, hi, Finley. I didn't hear you come in. We were just lost in conversation. I bumped into dear Sonja this evening in the uh, cafeteria. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. I forgot I was meant to have an important meeting today. Suddenly, I got hard to breathe and I passed out again. Dr. Gutera brought me back up here. Hmm. I have to admit to a certain amount of luck. Benjamin for surgery happened to be passing through at the time. He was a huge help in getting Sonja up here safely. Thank you, Dr. Gutera. Um, what were you talking about? Do you have any recommendations for a cause of treatment? Uh, thank you, I'll take care over here. Uh, do you have any recommendations? Well, I don't know if you're familiar with my approach to the treatment, but I delivered that the body can only heal with the uh, help of the mind. Medications sometimes only treat the symptoms, not the cause. Mrs. Van Gallen, I wish you all the best and a natural recovery for both body and mind. Now, I've already taken far too long uh, of a break. I wish you both a pleasant evening. Thank you. Alright, let us see what we can do here. So, how are you feeling, Mrs. Van Gallen? Uh, I still feel a little bit out of sorts. Hmm, your blood pressure must have begun fluctuating. You had an extremely high wrist impulse when you first arrived here. The drugs regulate your blood pressure. Yeah, Dr. Gutera kept talking to me until I felt better. Uh, he was saying something about my inner core, breathing exercises, that kind of things. I tried yoga once, not my cup of tea. Yeah, Dr. Gutera has his own way of looking at things. But he wasn't exactly wrong. Hmm. Yeah, let me check on your readings. We have to make sure that the drugs are working so you remain stable. Alright. Uh, let us see here. And of course, I missed one. God, I'm missing quite a few, unfortunately. There we go. Not bad. At least we got an A. Our free medication will only go part of the way to solving your problem. It will be wise to develop ways to reduce stress. Unfortunately, this happens to a lot of people nowadays. Yeah, but how am I supposed to avoid stress? Well, there are a few options. But you'll need to work out what works best for you, of course. They didn't teach us much about stress avoidance uh, techniques at medical school, to be honest. Hmm. The things that Dr. Gutera said, they kind of helped. I'm going to take a nap. Maybe I'll get lucky and uh, catch Dr. Gutera again tomorrow. Alright, rest well. There we go. Another patient uh, satisfied for now. Next up is going to be P33. For another uh, pill treatment. Dr. Gerda Gnizerdorf? Yeah, finally. 
Bring me back a cup of black tea, please. Then tell Dr. Tilbold that I was, uh, that I want to speak to him. Hmm. I'm actually your attending physician. Your doctor? Said Ursula, save us. You're barely out of diapers. Did they sell medical degrees online now? <laughs> Let's not lose sight of the matter at hand, Dr. Guinness Dolph. You came to us today, suffering from severe tremors. Tremors. On top of that, you've been complaining of a recurrent itching and muscle atrophy. Uh, liver ketosis. Uh, what? Liver ketosis. Are you deaf? Uh, have you already been diagnosed? I can't see anything here. I'm a surgeon, child. <laughs> I've had liver ketosis for longer than you've ever been alive. Accordingly, I'm aware of the high mortality rate once surgical intervention becomes necessary. That's why I'm here. So let's get to the chase and get down to business. <laughs> Man, doctors are the worst patients. All right. Um, so I think I could add a little bit of red and blue. Then extract the green and the blue. Next up, I gotta add... Hmm. The thing is, if I add this... Then I'm gonna have to add this. But now I need red, which means I think I gotta remove this and add this instead. Right? But now I need more red. Hmm. It's not done with the red. Um, also, if I go with this, it is good. But now I, I need a little bit more red. So if I add this, we have too much blue. If I add another one of these, and maybe another one. Now I need to add this. Hmm, but that's no good. Okay. I think I'm extracting a little bit too pink. That's the problem, right? But now I need more green. That's the problem again. But and if I add this one, it's just retracting the uh, pink. Although it's giving me green. And I do not have a plus for the um, pill for pink. So that's a problem. What if I remove this one and instead I add this one? There we go. We solved it. Awesome. That took a while. Your liver readings are in the critical range. You don't say. To make sure it is the rest of the liver we're dealing with, we need to do a liver uh, biopsy. No. No? I already know it's cirrhosis of the liver. What do you take me for? Although I'm sure a county department will be thrilled if you carry out a few un unnecessary procedures they can charge me for. What if it's not liver cirrhosis? Do I have to teach you how to treat me right? Listen. I... I like a drink, if you know what I mean. Excuse me? I'm talking about chronic alcohol abuse, and your nursing staff insists I don't drink here. So now I have two problems. Alcohol withdrawal, and this blasted liver cirrhosis. According to the latest symptoms, your symptoms also be triggered by other diseases. New research? Hmm. A lot of waffle. That's what it is. Well, go ahead. I'm sure you know exactly what you're doing. Seriously, dude? Well, of course, as I was saying, doctors are always the worst patients. Alright, well, I guess we are completely done for now. Uh, let me make my way to... Dr. Kukowski here. I'm done, Dr. Kukowski. Did you notice anything out of order? Uh, no, not. Uh, no, everything's fine. You're right. The patients really are doing a little bit better today. I'm glad I'm on the night shift now. It's really quite pleasant, if you say so. Well, let's see. Uh, I would have loved to get full AIDS, but that's fine. You are really quick today. I like that. I have one more request for you, though. Of course. What? Irma. I mean, uh, Mrs. Uh, Dicoma. I've been watching her tonight, and she's not doing very well. She asked if the nice doctor would stop by again today, and I think she means you. Why don't you just go check on her? I'm sure she'd be happy to see you. Sure, I'd love to. I got a gift I wanted to give her anyway. Well, don't keep her waiting. Hey, there we go. I actually wanted to give her the uh, lantern, of course. 
So, let me make my way to her room, uh, which I think it's 302 if I'm not mistaken. And uh, let us give her the candle. She will surely be happy when she's gonna see it. Oh, she's in 303 actually, never mind. Hey, Irma, how are you doing? Uh, Finley, what are you doing here? I thought you were out celebrating today. I was, it was great. I met a lot of people and the two contest was actually really good. They got the fountain working again for the occasion. And look what I found, Irma. The candle, there we go. Uh, can you smell that, doctor? The scent is just incredible. You've really made my day. I'm feeling much less shivery already. This brings back so many images for me. So many memories from years gone by. From all the many hibernation festivals I've seen. It was your first one today, right? Yep. But you should get some rest, Irma. All that talking gets your lungs. No, it's alright. I need someone I can. Spin my yarns too. I'm very tired. But I would like to tell you one last story. Arma? What do you mean by that? I think she's gonna pass away, guys. It's okay. What? No, it's not okay at all. We'll get you back on your feet. I, I promise. I'll get Dr. Kowalski right away. We'll figure it out. No, you already done more than I can imagine. But, may I ask one more favor for you? Uh, of course. What is it? I'm gonna be asking we're gonna listen to her last story here. I'd love another cup of tea. My throat's a little dry, you know. Of course. I, uh, we... Now, Finley. Don't fuss. It's alright. Uh, I'll just ja uh, I'll just dash to the break room. Uh, we have tea there. I'll be right back. Oh man, I have a feeling by the time we come back, she's probably not going to be here anymore. Man, I knew this would happen eventually. I just knew it. I felt it. It is what it is. All right, let me get a cup of tea here. He, we always have a water here. Thank goodness. What kind of tea should I make? Black tea, peppermint, fruit, green, winter, winter tea, I guess. Okay, now I'd better get this straight to Irma. Ooh. Wait, what? Finley, taking a break already? Uh, no, I... I'm just getting a cup of tea for our patient. Oh, yeah, old Irma has a taste for the funner things. Could you come with me, please? Uh, Irma isn't doing well at all. I know. I already went to see her and checked her readings. She's going to die in the next few hours. But we have to do something. What am I going to do is make myself a cup of tea too. How can you just walk in here like nothing's wrong? Why aren't you just doing something? I've already done everything I could. Sometimes even the best treatment in the world can't help Finley. But go to her. Make her last hours as comfortable as possible. That is our duty to her now. Make sure she has enough painkillers. Shouldn't we contact her son? I've already tried that too, but unfortunately I have not yet been able to reach Giuliano. I will keep trying and inform her of the situation. Go now. Arma C is getting cold. Man. This is so sad. I just knew this would happen, but unfortunately I don't really know how to cope with things like this. Even in real life, guys. So, um... Uh, I'm sorry if my voice is going to crack a little bit here. <laughs> Let's just keep her going. I'm pretty sure uh, old Irma is going to tell us a story as I make my way to her and deliver the uh, tea. Irma, I'm back. And I got your tea. Irma? Hmm? Who? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I must have dozed off for a minute there. You're a darling. Thank you so much. Just sit it down there. 
I remember my first hibernation festival like it was yesterday. It was already very cold for the first time in a year. The cars and park branches were buried in snow. But the hibernation festival still had to go on, of course. Gilbert loved hot air balloons more than anything else in the world. But he also had a great fear of flying. And he was just the youngest and he wasn't the youngest anymore either, neither of us were. So we compromised by heading to the countryside to watch the balloon race. At least we used to until it was banned. It was the hibernation festival. When Gilbert sat in a hot air balloon for the first time. There was already snow in the roads and the roofs of the houses. The lights, the smells, we were there every year. When it was cold outside and everyone started to come closer together. I'd already brought a hazelnut candle and enjoyed some lovely conversations with plenty of laughter. When Gilbert secretly slipped away, he'd spotted a hot air balloon in the square. Back then, you could still book flights in the winter. They said you could see the whole town from up there. But that year, the balloon remained grounded. The weather was already bitter cold and very windy. Then, all of a sudden, an icy gust of wind blew across the square. Hats and caps flew through the air. Mothers had to hold on to their children. And that gust of wind blew my Gilbert right into the basket of the balloon. When he picked himself up to climb back out of again, he got the fright of his life. The balloon had broken loose and was already rising hundreds of feet above the town. And me? Well, I seen the whole thing, and I leaped desperately at the dangling rope to try to hold the balloon down, but instead I simply flew away with it. Gibba helped me into the basket, and the wind carried us higher and higher into the wintry clouds. Porcupine was no more than a small speck of light in the fog. Eventually, it disappeared along altogether. Gibba could barely move to his fear of heights. The cold bit to our skin. But I managed to cheer him up. His dream had finally come true. I reminded him, right in a hot air balloon. Unfortunately, we soon realized that the burner was frozen. But then, I remembered that the hazelnut candle I brought. So Gibbon and I made ourselves comfortable in the basket for the on the balloon and lit the candle to warm myself up. I don't know exactly how long we sat there, but it was indescribably beautiful. Just us, the sky, and the clouds, and the scent of the hazelnut candle. Suddenly, there was a bang. The burner had started up again. The heat from the hazelnut candle had towed it all up. Giba quickly figured out how to steer the balloon. Even the altitude didn't bother him anymore, but how do we know which way to go? Then before we could even begin to worry again, I heard it. Very softly. The hibernation hymn, the song everyone in the porcupine sings together for the hibernation festival. We strained our ears and Giba steered the balloon straight towards the song. Eventually, porcupine emerged from the fog. The beautifully decorated marketplace, the snow covered roofs, and the festival goers. What a sight. They had a broken in song to help us find our way back. Giba landed right in front of the fountain and all crowd cheered. And that's the story, more or less at least, of how Gilbert and I took flight together for the first and last time. He died the following year though. I'll be reunited with him very soon. Then we'll fly together again. My good old Gilbert and I. Are they still playing the Hilbert's hymn in the square? Maybe. I'm not quite sure. Hmm. I think you can hear it, just faintly. Yeah, they're probably still celebrating. And here's the two of us, stuck working night shift at hospital, eh? <laughs> You're stuck doing a good job. With the work, but I... Irma? I made it. To the... To the hibernation. Oh man. This was a uh, very sad moment and I was expecting something like this to happen. Wait. Um delay? <laughs> I'm gonna be guessing I was not supposed to wake up like that. Complete the second act. Well, I guess we woke up and we are gonna have to go to work. Uh but it looks like it is winter time outside. It doesn't look like we are feeling, of course, to go to work, but look at us. We're dressed up and everything. Oh man, winter time has arrived. Look at this place. This is so cool. Awesome. 
All right, well, everybody, this has been another episode of Follow Porcupine. A very, very sad one, I must say. Uh, but I was definitely expecting Irma to pass away eventually. So that didn't really come as a surprise to me. But anyway, guys, that being said, thank you all very much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one very soon. Bye!